peninsula is a country located on the northern Caribbean of South America, with uh, Guyana to the east, Brazil to the south, and Colombia to the west, and Atlantic and Caribbean Sea to the north. <coughs> Before its independence, Venezuela was first conquered in 1498. Therefore, our, our, our official language is Spanish. Today, I would like to inform you about the Venezuelan lifestyle and all the several problems that my country is going through right now. Since Venezuela has influence from Indians, Europeans and Africans, our population is mixed. Therefore, Venezuela is known for having the most beautiful women in the world. We have won seven crowns in the Miss Universe. My favorite food is the Venezuela. We have typical dishes like arepas and empanadas, which are made with corn, flour, and they can be filled with the meat of your preference, or with cheese. We have pabellón, which is another cheese made with white rice, sweet plantains, black beans, and red beef. And we also have tequeños, which are made with, with cheese, and they can be filled with jam too, and they are baked or fried. If we talk about touristic places that are most to go in Venezuela, we have the Angel Falls that are located in the province of Canaima. According to the New World Encyclopedia, .org is, is the world's high, highest free-falling waterfall at 3,200 feet with an interrupted drop of 2,648 feet. On the other hand, the capital of Venezuela, Caracas, is filled with, a, with beautiful mountains like the Abiba. You can hike it or you can go through a cableway and then see all the uh, view from, of the sea from above. Another beautiful destination to visit is the island of Los Roques, which has the most crystalline water that I, have, uh, that I have seen in my entire life. I will say that we have one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Plus, we have uh, warm weather the entire year, so every time is a perfect time to go to the beach. <coughs> I could spend hours and hours talking why my country is one of the best places in the world. With the most beautiful beaches, good food, excellent Latin music, and with the happiest people in the world. Why I will say the happiest? Because even though we have been through a lot lately with a such a communist country in the last 15 years, we always know how to put a smile on the, fail, on the face and look into the positive side of everything. We have been through several problems of poverty, insecurity on the street, and lack of self-expression against the government. Since our then ex-president Hugo Chavez won the elections in 1999, and, he, and then in 2013, after he died, left the vice president in charge, Nicolas Maduro, they wanted to implement the same communist camp as Cuba, which never worked and is completely a lie. That is one of the main reasons why I had to leave Venezuela and come to the United States to look for a better future. According to the New York Times, Venezuela is a country that is in a state of total collapse, with shorter, with shorter government <coughs> office, widespread hunger, and failing hospitals that resemble hell on air. We have the worst economy and inflation in the world, and the people is going into a crisis involved with hunger, insecurity, violence, corruption, and lack of medicines and food. According to the Monetary Fund, while most advanced economies struggle to lift inflation, no one will want the Venezuela situation. Consumer price inflation is forecast to hit 480% and top 1640% in 2017. The serious problem of the citizens trying to find food in the supermarkets is getting, is getting worse with the time. The people have to go to long lines in the supermarkets to buy the food, and sometimes the lines are too long that when you get to buy the food, there is no food anymore. The other option for the people to buy the food is to buy to another seller that will sell the food 10 times over the price, which is not affordable because according to Leader.com, the minimum wage in Venezuela is $13.49 per month in accordance with the exchange rate established by the market. According to the Washington Post, which has repeatedly called for courting intervention against Venezuela, describes the country using similar at times identical language of collapse, of collapse, catastrophe, and complete disaster, and a failed state. 
A recent Post article described a McDonald's empty of customers just because a Happy Meal could, could cost the half of your salary per month. In conclusion, Venezuela is a beautiful and unique country that has many reasons to be one of the most beautiful countries in the world, with beautiful beaches, happy people, fair, perfect weather, and breathtaking mountains, and cheap oil since we are producers, pro producers of it. It is unfair that just because of a government that is thirsty of power and money, they have to assault the rights of, and the money that correspond to us as Venezuelans. They saw the future of many young men of many young Venezuelans like me, that they had to leave their families and friends just to find a better future in other countries. According to PanamPost.com, by the end of 2013, there were 1,002,000 Venezuelan citizens living abroad. As a U US citizen that I am too, since, since I have dual citizenship, Venezuelan and American, I would like to invite you to be part of this election. Since I had to leave my country just because of a government that didn't know how to run a country, I learned the importance of, it, of being part of a, of a government because only us <coughs> have the choice to choose our future. So, that would be it.